Hey guys, so today we're going to be taking a look at this mid-bunk open range fifth wheel. It's a really nice unit. It's the 371 MBH, which stands for mid-bunk house. One of the unique characteristics about this fifth wheel is it has a drop-down storage door for the basement area. You still have a flat area inside the storage simply because this unit has a drop frame design and the floor is actually enclosed on the top and bottom. It rides on a 12-inch I-beam frame with a boxed section below it that's welded to the main frame for added rigidity. Another nice thing about this coach is it utilizes all LED lighting, frameless windows, and it has a rear backup camera. The slides are cable-driven slides as opposed to some of the other styles that are out there. They're all pretty good. And this one has the JT Strong Arms for the six-point auto level up system. This is really cool because it stabilizes the coach. The front storage area does have a compartment for a generator and you can run dual batteries. So it should give you the capacity you need to run just about anything you have in the coach. Also, it utilizes the Equiflex suspension equalizer between the wheels and tires. I was surprised that it didn't have a wet bolt kit. Now, if you notice, it uses kind of a tapered design underneath the front portion of the frame and that's because it covers up the drop frame portion of the coach. Here is the driver side storage entrance, which it narrows out to about two feet in this area, and the outside kitchen. So the outside kitchen is pretty nice. It gives you a really cool sink area, which once you pull the slide completely out, you can lock in place and you can raise up the faucet to give yourself a little bit more clearance if you're gonna be washing your hands or anything like that. Plus there's plenty of storage above the cooktop and the sink to store whatever supplies you might need. One thing to note, the doors covering up the outside compartments are super thick, about an inch and a half thick. And if you look at the other side of the frame, you can clearly see that box section that goes below the I-beam section. And again, that is to give the coach a little bit more rigidity, which can be very helpful if you're going over you know, rough roads or adverse conditions. And again, I really like the fact that they put these little guards above the tires that can help prevent rock chips as well as damage from a blowout. You get the nice four-step aluminum steps, very nice. Now, stepping into this really nice coach, you'll see rear living room floor plan, which is very indicative of a mid-bunk unit. This is a full profile unit all the way front to back, which means you will have very, very high ceiling height in both the front and the back of this coach. You can see the return air for the Whisper Quiet AC unit. has a really nice leather sofa. And one nice thing about this sofa is the cushions extend out pretty far, where a lot of these, they have shortened cushions here so the slides can come in. And on this unit, it looks like they have a little bit more room behind the slide to give you some more leg room whenever you're sitting down. Plus end tables on each side of the sofa. This is a little different than many of the rear living room setups I've seen, simply because usually you'll have a table area here or a countertop that you can use for extra space. Whereas on this one, you have this little drop down here that gives you the space behind this little cabinet, plus your entertainment system. Fireplace. You have your theater seating here, complete with light, massage, and heat. They give you some really good sized cabinets above the love seat as well as the sofa as well. And one nice thing about these cabinets that's different with some other rear living room coaches is the fact that the cabinet height isn't so tall that you can't reach them. So you have a lot of storage space in this unit and then you have a lower and an upper section. The upper section would be pretty difficult for any but who's not at least, you know, 5'10", 5'11", to reach, but the lower section is very accessible. It's very nice. This specific unit has dual pane windows. That's simply going to give you more of a residential style and residential thermal protection versus your standard single pane window. The window next to the dinette is massive. 
It does have a nice kitchen. You have a nice pantry area right there. Nice full-size residential Frigidaire refrigerator, part of their gallery series. Traditional oven and cooktop. Lots of drawers and storage here in the center island. So even though you don't have a lot of cabinet space right here in the kitchen area, you have a tremendous amount in the island itself. And it's a very, very good size island that also has a stainless steel dual basin sink. This is going to be your entry into the mid bunk, which I'll show you here in a second. You have more storage up top. Might be a little high for some folks, but then you have this really nice pantry area right here as well. So you have a lot of storage and your control panel is also going to be in here. So there's your control panel. You have some storage here. And when you open up these cabinets, you have coat storage here or whatever you might need to use that for. Maybe a broom, a small vacuum. Here is your thermostat. Mid bunk. So this mid bunk does fold out into a bed. You have a, looks like a 36 inch TV across from your mid bunk, a nice little seating area here with a desk. This would be really good for a family that's gonna be out for an extended period of time. Mainly because you have a lot of cabinetry in here. You have a nice work spot if you need an office or you need a place for your children to do homework. It's just a really nice space. The ceiling in here isn't very tall, so if you have some, you know, real tall children, it probably maxes out right around six foot, six foot two in that range. Overall, a nice mid bunk. One thing to note, the doors in this coach are very heavy. They feel very residential in quality. They don't feel like those really lightweight, flimsy doors that you see in a lot of coaches. Going up the stairs, directly to the left of me is the loft. Looks like it's about a king size loft. Not quite the same length, but the overall depth is definitely more on the king size as well as the length is probably right at around six feet. So it's definitely a good space for the kiddos or whoever you might need to sleep up here. The ladder on the other hand is a narrow ladder that's pretty tall. So you wanna be careful when you're using any of these mid bunk ladders because you, know, you don't wanna fall off. That could be a pretty high fall for a small child. And of course, you have the Lippard touchscreen system here, which gives you controls over several features within the coach, as well as the levels of some of your tanks and other things that are going on with your unit. Going into the master bathroom, it has a really nice door. I like that design on it. A corner sink, medicine cabinet above it, a lot of storage in the bathroom. So you got these five drawers here, plus a storage shelf there and another cabinet right above it. One piece shower assembly porcelain toilet. A lot of room. You have a lot of width here and the depth is tremendous. You have a lot of room here in case you're a taller person or you're a bigger person that needs the space. Of course your fan. Stepping into the master bedroom. This is a wonderfully laid out bedroom. First of all, you have your second AC over here, so that's really nice. But more importantly, you have a lot of room right here to step beside the bed. And even on the other side, you have a lot of room. You can walk back here with no problem at all. A lot of these, especially when you have a king size bed like this coach, give you very narrow paths on the side, whereas this one gives you plenty of room. I also like the fact that there's storage above the headboard on the bed. That's really nice. Typically, you don't see that. It's also really nice to see the amount of room they give you here, which means that the slide out for the bedroom is actually a deeper slide out than most because it gives you about a foot wider room behind the bed between the dresser and the bed than most RVs do. This one's really nice, plus a very nice dresser and a dedicated area up here, of course, for your TV and all your connections. This is just a massive closet. Gives you the ability to run a washer dryer assembly here. And then the other closet area is also massive. So you have all this room here for hanging clothes. It's about three feet deep and looks like it's about five and a half feet wide. Very nice space. I'm not going to lie, I honestly believe this is one of the best master bedroom setups I've seen. I think the only one that tops it is that Cameo that had the front windshield on it. But this is a really nice setup. Has nice trim work, the area around the lights up top. Of course, it's all a ducted AC system. I really like this coach. It's a nice mid-bunk unit and definitely one you should consider. 
I hope you enjoyed this quick overview of this mid-bunk open range fifth wheel. Very nice, especially having a full profile design. Very tall, very, very beautiful fifth wheel. Anyways, guys, if you haven't had a chance, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel, and I will talk to you soon. Guys, I want to give a big shout out to Dell Air RV Center here in Corpus Christi for giving me the opportunity to walk around their lot and take a look at the fifth wheel today.